Aquarius, what's going on? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. This is going to be your general love reading for March 12th of 2022. It's good to see you guys. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones, your pets, and welcome. Down below in the description box is all the information as far as how to book a personal reading with me if you're interested. The email is below to inquire. There's also an extended reading link in the description box if you want to purchase the extended read for this reading. There's also information as far as how to become a member of this channel. Shout out to all my members. Thank you for being members. If you would like to become a member, click the link below or you can click the join button. And also there's... um. An extended reading link like did I say that already I might have said that already there's an extended reading link below. <laughs> I'll be repeating myself so bookings if you want to book a personal reading all my social media information the extended reading link and how to become a member of the channel sorry if I repeated myself <laughs> don't forget to like comment share and subscribe please that's how you show love towards Miss Hawaii and her channel that's me I'm speaking in third person and also that is how you uh, spread my content across YouTube okay so thank you for that shout out to all of you who always like the videos every week leave me comments I appreciate that don't forget click the little bell button below as well if you want to be notified anytime I go live or anytime I post a new aqua reading for you okay so let's see we're going to try to make this short simple and sweet how are you currently feeling towards the person you're dealing with in love? The seven of swords, damn. That's how we gonna start Aquarius. We know that's my deception card. We know that's my sneaking card. Why are you feeling that way? Justice could be a Libra you're dealing with. That's Libra's major arcana card. How else is Aquarius feeling? Five of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> One more card, please, for how Aquarius is feeling towards the person they're dealing with in love. Oh, that just flipped right out. What we got? So you got two fives there. Fives. Sometimes fives represent conflict. Sometimes they represent friction. Okay. Five of Cups in reverse. Five of Coins in reverse. Okay. Okay. So I think you feel like somebody is sneaky. You don't trust your person, Aquarius. And you like, I just want to be treated fairly. How does this person feel about you? The Ace of Cups. So this person, clearly, you're in their heart space. They have emotional feelings for you. The Nine of Coins. Okay. This person sees you as independent, strong, self-sufficient, doing well for yourself the queen of cups it could be a cancer pisces scorpio this person loves you aquarius big time 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 the ace of swords two aces here which represents new beginnings okay the mutual energy is the four of wands what's the problem what's the problem it looks good on their end all their cards are upright. You the one with these reversals and shit. <laughs> what, what the problem is. Like old folks used to say. What the problem is. I don't know. It's coming from you. Justice, Seven of Swords. Mm. Let's clarify. Don't forget personal readings. Hit your girl up. Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. All that information is below. And if you're interested in purchasing the extended read for this reading, that link is below in the description box. For those of you that are not familiar with the extended reading, in the extendeds, I do a full spread on your person, see more about how they feel about you. And we also go ahead and look at their future actions towards you, as well as I pull oracle cards for you, for your advice and love. All right, so I hope to see you there. If not, I'm happy that you're here. Show me the seven of swords, please. Let's clarify this deception cheating sneaky energy that you're pulling here Ooh, three of cups in reverse with the justice in reverse this person that did you wrong huh or you feel like they're doing you wrong 
you feel like this person is either cheating on you or they talking to somebody else they're entertaining a third party now it doesn't even have to be a love relationship it can be a friend somebody that you know that you feel isn't you know doesn't have the best interest for this connection between you and this person could mean a co-worker relative doesn't have to be an actual cheat you know cheating some type of third party here sometimes this means gossip the three of cups in reverse it can mean gossiping participating in gossiping or somebody talking bad about you guys you definitely there, there's something here about this person you feel like they're they doing you dirty or you don't trust them or something show me the justice card some of y'all have libra in your chart nine of wands in reverse you like, I done went through enough here with this person. Or I just been through enough, period. I don't need this shit from them, too. The hangman in reverse. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces. Show me the five of cups in reverse. Hangman in reverse is like, this is the way I feel, and that's it. I'm not changing my mind. The empress. Oh, I know my worth. I know my worth. Okay, devil in reverse. Capricorn energy there. Choosing yourself, which is excellent energy, but... I'm not seeing anything on this person's side that's showing me that they are doing you dirty. I mean, maybe it's just not coming through. Show me the five of coins in reverse. The page of cups in reverse. Damn. This person did something to do to hurt you, Aquarius. And they got you like, listen, I'm the empress, motherfucker. Okay, let's see this person here. Show me the Ace of Cups. The Sun in Reverse could be a Leo. Ooh, something could have came out about this person with the Sun in Reverse. Something could have been revealed. Um, it could also mean this person is not happy or they're kind of pessimistic here about this connection. Because you got the Magician on the bottom. This person is trying everything to pull you or they want you manifesting you. Show me the Nine of Coins. This person likes what you represent too. The King of Swords. Ooh, but you coming off cold. <laughs> the Fool. Somebody trying to take a leap of faith with you. Trying to get shit started with you. Have a new beginning with you. But this person feel like you being cold. Got this ice box. Where? Show me the Queen of Cups. <laughs> this is somebody that does love you. And I know some of y'all rolling your eyes right now. Don't look at me like that. Nine of Coins twice here with the death card here in reverse Scorpio energy yeah this is somebody that doesn't want things to end between you and them or if things did end they want to revive it temperance could be a Sagittarius Queen of Cups I mean this person just loves what you're about they keep showing me the nine of pentacles is here from two different decks so you're just a type of person you're single right now for some of you you're single right now is driving this person crazy um they know that you're a catch they know that there's a lot of people that would love to have a partner like you but it's also showing me for a lot of you aquarians you're doing good financially like you've you've set up the nine of pentacles is an energy of somebody who's worked really hard to get everything that they have so you're looking pretty good to this person Show me the Ace of Swords. They love your independence. The Seven of Swords is here twice. Ooh. Ooh, it's here twice with the Seven of Cups. Ooh. Was this person entertaining other options? Why would they do that when this foundation is so strong between the two of you? The Four of Wands, that means y'all was on the path here to either living together, you could have been living together. I mean, this could be marriage. It can lead to a lot of things. The Ace of Swords is about truth. Truth. Mm-hmm. I don't like Seven of Swords here twice now. I don't know if y'all was each being sneaky towards each other, but I'm not getting it. I think it was this person. I feel like it was this person doing something here, and you found out uh-huh they did something deceptive here that came out whether it was cheating talking about you lying to you about something 
keeping some information hidden from you, whatever the case may be. See, look, justice card is here again. I just pulled literally from the bottom of the deck. Justice card with the two of cups. So yeah, I see the bond between the two of you. There's a strong bond here between the two of you. Very, very strong. But then you got the justice card here, which is about cause and effect, which is about paying the consequences. Mm. Cause just cause somebody loves you and they have a lot of emotions here, don't mean they're not gonna do you dirty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or don't mean they're not gonna. Love is an action word. It's an action word. So when you say you love somebody, your actions have to back that up. That's what love is about. You can say you can scream, you love me in the hills till you blue in the face and tell the world. That don't mean shit. What you, how you treating me? What are you giving me? Are you respecting me? That's what love means. You know what I mean? Love is an action word. Let's look from another deck. Oh, Jesus. Mama, what you doing in there? Love is an action word. I should write a poem called that. Love is an action word. I got to start writing on my blog again. I used to write on my blog like every day. And a lot of people would email me and say how it helped them. I write poems, post song lyrics, and just write different things about my life. And people loved it. And it just kind of fell off as my life got super busy. But I want to get back into blogging again. I've got a movie I want to write. I got a book. I got a lot of things to do. School just takes up a lot of my time. Once I finally finish school this year, then I'll have more time to be able to do more things. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot, a lot of energy that I have to put out into this world. That was a random, random thought with Miss Hawaii. But let's see. How do you feel about this person, Aquarius? The Knight of Cups with the Three of Cups. Okay. The moon, there's that, <laughs> there's that energy again of talking about this person you just don't fucking trust. But you, you got feelings for sure. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, I don't know why I said that. Maybe you are dealing with other Aquarius. I meant to say Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. How does this person feel about Aquarius? The Queen of Cups again from a whole nother deck. Dude, this person loves you, dude. The devil. Oh. Oh, no. What's up with this person? Oh, man. Eight of Wands. Toxic type of love. Mm. Some of y'all dealing with a Capricorn. One more card, please, for how this person feels. Oh, King of Wands in reverse. It's a tough person to deal with. Ten of Pentacles here on the as the mutual energy. Yeah, it's like you and this person have the potential, though, to be something strong with the Ten of Pentacles here. That's my marriage card, having kids, you know, family and, and building together and being a power couple. Like, y'all got that shit. Like, I feel like you're the type of person that's really good with your money and money oriented and, and focus on your career and your, and your future. And I feel like this person is too, but there's some type of toxic energy around this person. I don't know what it is. There's something here. I don't know. It could be unhealthy attachments. Sometimes the devil represents temptation because you are pulling them as a knight of cups. So this is a charming person. This is somebody who is, you know, kind of a flirt and especially with the king of wands and reverse energy show me the three of cups the king of pentacles with the hierophant taurus energy and see you the person you the type of person here you you want your king of pentacles shit you some of y'all doing really good financially aquarius like especially if you're a business owners or whatever you're doing I see your career excelling, but the King of Pentacles is also a very six of cups in reverse. Ah, 
this is what I'm getting. You're a very grounded individual. I don't feel like this person is. You're a very stable person, individual. I don't feel like this person is. I feel like you can go into a relationship. You can be faithful. You can be loyal. You can put in the work. You can give that action to, to back up that love word. This person, uh, show me the Knight of Cups, the world. Ooh. Ooh, I just heard traveling the world. Like you can see yourself traveling the world with this person or some of y'all, this is a long distance relationship with the world card. There could be travel involved. Maybe some of you met this person while you were traveling. You've been through a lot with this person too. Show me the the moon. Why the moon card? There's just a lot here with the moon card. It's just like, there's a lot of things. Ah, the lovers in reverse. There's a lot of things you feel like this person hides from you, keeps from you. And that's where the distance goes. And that's what makes you sometimes feel like, oh my God, am I, am I stupid for investing in this person? Show me the two of wands in reverse. It's tough. It's hard for you. The eight of swords. Ooh, trapped here. Stuck energy you got. And there's the three of cups. But then it's like, <laughs> you keep being around this person. You definitely like being around them. Don't look at me like that. You do. Got the three of cups twice. You like being around them. Y'all have fun. Y'all have a good time. Y'all vibe. It's a friendship vibe as well. Not just a lover's thing. Show me the queen of cups. But this, this whole dark energy they got or this whole energy of them hiding things from you, not being honest, or you constantly feeling like, you know, there's more to the surface than what this person shows you. It's, it's causing division. It's causing a disharmony. Show me the queen of cups, the 10 of cups. Some of y'all have kids with this person, queen of cups, 10 of cups. I keep seeing like a family type of, um, energy. If not, I mean, I feel like both of you could definitely have see that in the future with one another, but this person is, is strongly emotionally attached to you. Show me the devil. Why is the devil here though? Why is the devil here? Whoa. King of wands. And what just flew out over here by the candle? The two of pentacles. This person look good. And I'm, I just heard for some of you, this isn't going to be for everybody. For some of you, this person look good and it's hard for them to come keep themselves composed. I'm going to be honest with you. For some of you, this person got women, men throwing themselves at them all the time. It's hard for this person. I'm going to be honest. Mmm. <sighs> They got a lot of inner work to do. They got a lot of inner work because they got the two of pentacles on top of the devil. That's juggling energy with the king of wands. They look good too. The king of wands is a very sexual energy. It's an energy of somebody who is like, look real good. And like a lot of people, or even if they don't, they're not physically like all that. They just got this type of, you know, if you saw somebody who is ugly, but they ugly, but they got a certain swag about them and they confident and it makes them look really fucking good. You ever see somebody that's ugly that pull mad bitches or pull mad guys? And you be like, how did, and then you like, oh, they got that charm. Cause this person is charming. Whoever this is, Knight of Cups, this is somebody that got charm. So sometimes it don't even take you being all handsome or all gorgeous. Sometimes you just got that, that flow to you that people just really flock to. Whatever it is, this person got it. And it's hard for them. Because the devil represents temptation. Show me the eight of wands. If the devil represents temptation, the tower. But this person will not let the tower in reverse come down between you and them. They just not having it. Some of y'all, this is a Gemini. This could be a Scorpio. Show me the king of wands in reverse. But this person do love you. And some of y'all are like, well, how are they going to love me? And they going to do this and do that. I don't fucking know. But look. Knight of Cups in reverse with the King of Wands in reverse. This person, I'm getting for a lot of you. This is somebody that fucking talks to a lot of people or they fuck a lot of people or they can't keep their dick or their pussy in their pants. I'm going to keep it real with you. Yeah, there's that Three of Cups again in reverse. It's showing me that there's, it keeps showing me a third party or somebody keeps, you know, it keeps showing me there's another person here or persons that keeps getting in this mix here and that's what I'm getting and I feel like you love this person you they love you 
but you're way more controlled than them not king of pentacles like you're way more like this is nothing for you like you can you know what i mean like you love somebody you're loyal you give your all nobody else matters to you you don't see anybody else this person is like they have people throwing themselves at them for some of you it's a lot of temptation around this person so it's hard for them <laughs> and they're trying to deal with it but the only way there's no dealing with it is the only way thing to do is to cut it off cut it off because i see the love they got for you and if they love you that much and it happily ever after here ten of cups this has that much potential to bring that much happiness between the two of you they're gonna have to sharpen up i don't care how good they look I don't care how horny they are. I don't care about nothing. I don't care somebody butt naked in front of you. All the love this person got for you, they need to snap out of this shit. And that's real. Sorry, cross watcher. I'm keeping it real. Because I can see here you don't trust this person. You don't. Some of y'all have actually had proof. You've caught this person in the act. You found things. You've seen things. Whatever the case may be. And it sucks because y'all y'all get along well. Y'all fuck with each other. There's love here. This has the potential. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups to, to go fucking long. Fucking growing old together type shit. But your person got to give you that loyalty. They have to give you that action to match that love word. And not just say it. That's it. That's it. Or they're going to lose you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care how good you look. I don't care about temptation. Like, we're not kids. We're adults. You know what I mean? Like, that's what little kids go through. This, excuse me, this person pulled the Queen of Cups twice from two different tarot decks for you. This person loves you. You have an emotional space in this person's heart. You are their, their heart. So why is this so hard? And I get it. When I see the devil card, that's usually something that has you in bondage. It's usually so, an unhealthy attachment, something that's toxic, something that is hard for you to shake. You know, the devil card can mean anything. It can mean somebody who's addicted to fried chicken. You know what I mean? It can mean somebody who smokes too much weed or drinks a lot or has a sexual lust problem. You know what I mean? It's, it's a battle, you know, for somebody to have to get over that type of addiction but with the amount of love this person has for you, they should be able to kick that shit to the curb. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so let's go into the extended now. I'm going to go ahead and pull cards for your person. See how they feel about you more about that. And we'll also take a look at what they're going to be doing towards you in the future. Like what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you in the future. And I'll go ahead and pull you some advice oracle cards as well. All right, Aquarius. I love you guys. Have a blessed weekend. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, see you next time. Bye.